Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create this. This video is sponsored by ProductionCrate.com. Whether it's music, graphics, or visual effects, Production Crate has you covered. We've begun a revolution in the way half a million creators like you produce content, becoming the source of all your production ready assets at an affordable price. Thousands of professionally built video assets, sound elements, and tools are at your disposal helping you save time, perfect your projects, and earn the recognition you deserve. Sign up today and make it awesome! Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition. Go to composition, new composition, and let's call it main text. And I am going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration make it 6 seconds long then click on OK. Now create a text layer. So right click here then new and then click on text. In this tutorial I am using headline number uh, 45 font. Then type your text here. I type in action. Then uh, make it a little bit bigger. Perfect. It is the position. Okay, now create another text layer and type your text here. I type in Taylor and then I change the position a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. Then turn on uh, title and make it center. Perfect. Okay, now select these two layers and then press P to open position. Then go forward 6 frame. Then set a keyframe on position. Then uh, go to first frame and then select this uh, first text and drag it left of this composition. And then select this uh, second text and drag it right of this composition. Okay, let's run PVV it. Okay, now select all keyframes and then press F9 to make them easy ease. Then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this. Ok now add a motion blur of these layers by clicking here also click this big motion blur icon looks good to me ok now create a new composition by clicking here and then rename it to line and then height set it 200 duration set it 10 second long Then click on OK. OK now go to toolbar and select paint tool then turn off fill and then stroke set it 10 then create a straight line to something like this. Again create a straight line. and then turn down the stroke amount to 3 and then adjust the position a little bit ok now create adjustment layer so right click new and click on adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for linear whip then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer 
then go to effect control panel and whip angle set it to 70 degree then go to beginning of this animation and transition completion set it to 100% then set a keyframe on it then go to end of this animation and then transition completion set it to 0 ok now go to main text and then go to project window and select our line comp and place it into this timeline then adjust the timing and place it where you want in my case I am putting it on uh, top of N you can place it where you want ok now make a duplicate of this layer by pressing ctrl plus D and then press W for rotation tool and place it uh, where you want perfect looks good to me ok now select all layers and drag it forward few frames perfect ok now select all layers and then right click and choose pre-compose and rename it to text then click on ok ok now we are import our project files you can download these project files from link in the description box below so please check this out select these files and drag it into this uh, project window ok now select this metal texture layer and place it into this timeline and then select this text layer and then change the track mat to luma mat then select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for tint then select this effect and apply onto this text layer and then uh, white change to uh, orange you are free to choose your own color then click on ok ok now create another composition so go to composition new composition and let's call it main composition make sure you change the height to 1080 and duration make it 6 second then click on ok Ok now go to project window and select this background layer and then place it into this timeline then make it 3D by clicking here Ok now create a new light so right click new and click on light and I'm using point light and, and uh, intensity set it uh, 395 and color set it orange then click on ok then adjust the position then select this light and press P and decrease the Z amount little bit perfect ok now select this uh, main text and then drag it into this timeline perfect then select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for glow then select this effect and apply onto this main text layer ok now go to effect control panel and then decrease the glow threshold amount maybe 49 point uh, maybe 49 point 8 percent then increase the glow radius to 35 ok now select this effect and press ctrl plus D to duplicate this effect and then glow threshold set it uh, 66.4 
and glow radius set it um, maybe 61 perfect and then glow intensity set it 0.3 looks good to me okay now go to effect and preset window and search for curves then select this effect and apply onto this layer then change the RGB curves to something like this perfect okay now select this layer and then press ctrl plus D to duplicate of this layer then delete all effect from this layer okay now go to effect and preset window and search for fill then select this effect and apply onto this layer then fill color set it black and then again go to uh, effect and preset window and search for bevel alpha then select this effect and apply onto this layer and then edge thickness set it uh, 6.10 and uh, light angle set it minus 236 degree and intensity set it 1 and then change the layer mode to add okay now select this effect and press ctrl plus d to duplicate this effect looks good to me okay now select this first layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for uh, drop shadow then select this effect and apply onto this layer then uh, opacity set it 100 percent then increase the distance amount and change the angle something like this perfect okay let's run pbv it looks good to me okay now go to project window and select our lens flare layer and then place it into this timeline then change the layer mode to add then adjust the position perfect let's change the mode to screen looks good to me okay now create a new black solid layer so right click new and then solid and make it black then click on ok then select this layer and then go to toolbar and select ellipse tool then double click on it then max mode set it subtract and then press F to open max feather and increase the max feather amount okay let's add our dust footage I download this footage from productiongrade.com you can download this footage from link in the description box below so please check this out okay now select this file and drag it into this project window okay now select this footage and place it into this timeline then select this footage and then go to effect and preset window and search for curves then select this effect and apply onto this footage layer then change the RGB curves to something like this okay now go to effect and preset window and search for glow then select this effect and apply onto this footage layer then um, glow radius set it 90 okay now create a adjustment layer so right click new and click on adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for brightness and contrast then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer and then brightness set it uh, 20 and contrast set it 5 
then again go to effect and preset window and search for noise then select this effect and apply onto this layer and noise amount set it 5% then again go to effect and preset window and search for serpent then select this effect and apply onto this layer and then serpent amount set it 25 looks good to me Okay now create a new object so right click here then new and click on null object then select these three layers and then parent it to null one then go to beginning of this animation then select this layer and then press S to open scale and then set a keyframe on it and then go to end of this animation and scale amount set it 110 perfect okay let's create a black solid layer so right click new and then solid and rename it to flimber and then click on ok okay now select this layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and then double click on it and then double click on this max path and hold down alt and ctrl and drag and then change the max mode to subtract perfect our animation is ready ramp pv width that's how i made the whole project thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a great day